The change that we would like to see in our community is the narrowing of the achievement gap by giving students the facilities needed to excel in STEM studies in high school so they can be competitive in college and in their careers. In 2006, a group of alumni created the Friends of Northwest Class and High School Foundation. Friends has supplied grants to the school, including physics textbooks, lab equipment, and many other needed items. Northwest Classen has an Academy of Health Sciences, which is part of the National Academy Foundation's network of specialized programs that provide students with work-based, hands-on learning. The job training curriculum is specifically designed to prepare students for college and their futures as they choose from more than 80 careers in health sciences. Academy students learn CPR, participate in career day, and work 120 hours at an internship. Why is it important for the Academy students to learn CPR training? Well, it's really important for these students. All of the students here today have expressed interest in going into a particular healthcare profession. And this course that they're learning from the American Heart Association is the course that all healthcare professionals have to go through every two years. So no matter what they choose to do in healthcare, they will actually have to take this course. And so um, many of these students will, actually most of these students, if not all of them, will be doing internships this summer. And they will actually have to have this certification in order to go work in a healthcare facility. Good morning, Mrs. Osmond. How are you? I'm well. How are you this morning? Good. Looks like there's a lot going on here. What's happening? We do. We have a lot going on this morning. This is our career day for our academy students. These are high school students, grades 9 through 12, that have applied to the academy and are learning about different careers in the healthcare profession. This gives them the opportunity to meet with those professionals in different areas of health care and gives them the opportunity to ask questions and get them ready for career and or career and college uh, pathways. We have uh, dentistry, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, veterinarian, EMS, nursing, physician's assistants, pharmacy represented. So a wide variety of health care areas that our students can learn about. And do they get an opportunity to do an internship through this program? Yes, they do. As juniors, they are prepped and um, taught how to do um, interviews, write their resumes, learn the business ethics. And this gives them an opportunity to talk to these business and community people about what is expected in the type of career that they are looking at. So at the, at the end of their junior year, they spend 120 hours learning about a different health career. It also gives our business partners a chance to see our students and um, interact with them and be a mentor in that area. So it's a benefit for both. And it also helps build their employee pipeline, correct? Yes, it does. It certainly does. There is one significant area that is lacking for the students' job training, functioning science labs. Some updates have been made to the school, but the science labs were deemed too costly to fix, so they were rendered useless as lab classrooms. Plumbing to sinks was disconnected, gas lines were capped, exhaust hoods that don't vent outside were left hanging, and floor drains are incorrectly sloped. The labs are in such disrepair that the students actually watch experiments on YouTube as an inadequate substitution for the tactile experience. Since Oklahoma ranks number 47 in cuts to public education funding, and has recently suffered another $16.2 million cut, there is no financial help available from the state. Today is a, a titration video. Uh, ideally, we would all, uh, we would have titrations um, in the class. However, um, because we don't have one sink, it's really hard to wash up between classes, and I wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to, uh, to facilitate every one of you performing this. Uh, we might have like one station available later on where we can maybe go through the class, but uh, you really, we could get a lot out of this video, um, I, but ideally it's better to do it uh, in a lab. So what we're looking at is a titration video. So we use titrations to determine concentration of like unknown substances. And I believe in this video, we're gonna look at um, an acid in a base. And so they're gonna use an indicator called phenylphthalein. And so phenylphthalein indicates when it goes from uh, acidic to basic. As soon as it turns basic, you get this nice pink color. And so uh, we're gonna show this video on that right now. And this is from 
from the university. Welcome to the UNL Chemistry Report. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the proper technique and procedure for titrating. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. A bottle of KHP, a weigh boat for the KHP powder, a spatula, some deionized water, make sure not to use tap water, your unknown concentration of NaOH, phenyl thaline, I think you're already familiar with this indicator by now, a burette and a burex sand, and some various glassware to measure with, dissolve your KHP in, and collect waste. And of course... So what we have here is the equipment. Here you have a stand, and it's really kind of hard to see. I'm not... Yeah, there's the burette. It, I said it's not on the stand. It's really hard to see. It's laying down right here. It's just a big, a big glass tube, and it has uh, what they call a stopcock, where you can let the let the, your your titrate flow in out of it, and so uh, that's what they're going to use to to measure how much of they're using, and then determine concentration. Uh, it is well known that the leaders of tomorrow are in high school today. The Community Thrives Grant would help the Friends of Northwest Classen High School Foundation provide the school's entire student population with state-of-the-art science labs so that they can begin college on the same academic level as their peers. Thank you for the opportunity to apply and participate in this amazing opportunity. We look forward to developing a relationship with the Community Thrives, USA Today, and the Gannett Foundation.